Hey guys, welcome to another great episode of the Anime Breakdown Show. I'm your host with the most, your boy, the X Kingpin XV, coming at you guys with another great show. Uh, today's going to be a Naruto Breakdown, Naruto Shippuden episode 307 and 308. I know I didn't do 307 last week, but I did do it. I did do it. Uh, I was doing it for 39 seconds, and I did it for a full five minutes, and all of a sudden, I didn't realize that it had stopped at 39 seconds, and I was so frustrated I didn't want to redo it. Uh, but this one is about, uh, the name of the episode is, uh, let me see, Fade Into the Moonlight and Crescent uh, Moon Night. It was okay. This, I think this is pretty much a filler. Uh, this is just, quickly I'm going to go over the 307. Um, it was just about the, the proctor who died. Uh, from the original Naruto series when it first started to come on during the tuning exams. Uh, his name is Hayate uh, uh, Giko or Gecko, whatever you want to call this guy. And then this lover of his that he had been training with. Um, it just starts off, Kabuto wakes him up, tell him to send him on a mission to go retrieve DNA. Uh, they do some backstory, uh, you know, how he died and, you know, going against the Sand Ninja guy. Um, you know, doing a uh, mission of some sort, and going into 308, okay? Um, back in the day, or during the battle he had with the Sand Ninja, he did nothing cool. He didn't do any jutsus. Uh, the explosive tag grenades he used, uh, you know, nobody could hear it. They kind of made a lot of mistakes in this one. Uh, they have a good way of making things make sense. But there was, there was explosions on top of the roof they were fighting. No one could hear them. It was just a lot of craziness. In this one, they were trying to make him a badass. You know, that he used some transparency jutsu while he's fighting and this, that, and the other. And he did some pretty tight jutsus in this one. But when he was going against the Sand Ninja, before he died, he wasn't doing anything slick. And I was kind of frustrated with that. So it was kind of hard for me to really like this filler. I'm pretty sure at the time they didn't realize they were going to reuse this character again. Uh, so they didn't take out the, yeah, they didn't take out the time to um, develop his character at, the, at that moment. So I, I guess I can understand that aspect of it. But then them trying to make him some Ambu Black Ops, almost semi-badass, um, that was kind of frustrating. Uh, so the whole story is this: at this point, the girl is torn to going after him because she's like an ex-lover of Giko's. Her name is Yuga or Yugo, or whatever the case may be. Uh, doing the first encounter with these guys, they took out the other two bad guys, which they were pretty slick. Uh, in episode 307, especially with the twisting of the head and all that kind of shit uh, at that point in time. Um, they end up taking two of them down. The, the other guy was left, so they have to stop, heal him up, uh, you know, do what they have to do as a, as a group member. And just when she was about to run off, uh, Sakura had stopped and told her, no, you can't do this. I've, I've gone through this before, yada, 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 uh, you know. You got to go kill him. We got to go take him down. And she's like, I can't do it. I can't do it. And she's shaking every time she tries to get a weapon or some, or some sort. But this is the next thing. Now, while they were taking a break, he was running back to Kabuto. Magically, when she decides to actually go after him, they catch up in an instant. Kind of annoying. Kind of annoying. Uh, you know, that they didn't have to... You know, run after them. They were, they were just right there. But like I said, these are fillers. They're just making these as fast as they can so they can work on other things. So, you know, it was just one of those things where I was like, everything just, just didn't add up. And I know this was a filler, so I'm not going to sweat it so much. It was like almost to the point where I didn't think this, this was really was worth doing. I did enjoy it as a filler because it's better than a random ass uh, backstory, uh, where they're going on some stupid mission that has nothing to do with anything when they were kids or something like that. So they, they're keeping things relevant in these current fillers. They've been doing that a lot within this uh, Naruto series uh, by making you stay on semi-task. Kind of like when Naruto's on the ship uh, going to, uh, you know, see, uh, what's his name, uh, Killer B. And they had those all those ship fillers when he was having this ship you know, voyage and all these different stops they had to make before they got there. Even though those were kind of annoying, wasn't really that great. 
they still kept it within, like, always with the thought of, you know, he's on a mission trying to get to where he has to go, and these are the things that he has gone through. So, as always, um, you know, that's, that can be a good thing or a bad thing, uh, but in the end, she ends up getting rid of the guy. He ends up taking her down. Um, emotions, you know, pretty much slowed him down to stop him from doing what he needed to do. But at this point, you guys, just leave a comment below. What did you think about this filler? Uh, is this really a filler or did this actually happen in the manga story? But I'm pretty sure this is a filler. Uh, leave your comments below. Let me know if you guys uh, thought about it. What do you think? Please give the video a thumbs up. It always helps me a lot. Check out my uh, video from yesterday of the manga review. Uh, Sasuke's insane. Anyway, uh, everything was great. Appreciate you guys for stopping by. And peace.